Hi, I'm Rob. Welcome to the vlog. This is Baron XP, but we're doing something a little bit different this time. This is for all those people that are trying to homeschool their kids with maths and need something a little bit different. And so, I present to you, Weird Wednesday, the frog hopping problem. little bit of background. I was a primary school teacher for over 20 years before I became a stay-at-home dad and at the last school I worked at we did these days where I got to do a maths lesson that wasn't kind of linked to anything else. I called them the Weird Wednesdays and they tend to be maths problems that well most people don't think of particularly as maths so it's not as much to do with numbers it's more about problem solving and stuff so the frog problem. About there, good, you should see the setup for the frogs. There are three green frogs and there are three red frogs sitting on little squares. They could be lily pads, but you know, I didn't have time to draw that. They need to swap places, but they can only swap places with the following rules. A frog can slide from one empty square into another empty square. A frog can jump over one frog to get to an empty square but a frog cannot jump over two frogs to get into an empty square that's against the rules okay how many moves does it take for the frogs to swap you might have seen this problem before well this is the sort of the first level if you're going to be doing this with your kids you can have a little bit of a discussion. All right, so you work out how, what the smallest number of moves is to move the frogs and get them to swap over. But what happens if there's two green frogs and two red frogs? Or what happens if there's four green frogs and four red frogs? Will the number of moves get bigger or smaller? By how much? That's the second level if you want to take your kids that far. If you have got older kids, or seriously intelligent kids, you can actually do this as an algebra problem. Can you give me a way of working out how many moves it would take regardless of how many frogs there are? That would mean you'd be able to tell me how many moves it would take for two frogs or a hundred frogs without having to do all the hopping. To find the formula that actually works with any number of frogs, you're going to need more information. So, what you need to do is you need to do the frog hops, the minimum number of frog hops, with two on each side. So, one, two, three, four, maybe even five. And you should see the numbers of how many moves each one is. You're looking for a pattern in those numbers and a way of working out no matter what. Can't stress enough, go as far as your kid wants to with this problem. If all they want to do is jump some frogs around and see how many moves they can get it down to, that's great. If they take a guess that if I have more frogs it's going to make more moves, also fantastic. Don't assume that your kid's going to be able to do the algebra. Um, because that's not necessarily going to be the case. I am also posting a frog hopping solution on our channel and once you've had a bit of a go at the problem you can go zip across and look at that one or if you're the grown-up and you want to set this as a problem for your kid and you want to know the answer in advance so you can help them get to it then that's absolutely fine you go and look at it. All right hope that all makes sense I will see you with the solution in a little while. Bye.